Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. We're here at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio, and I've got Tony Clark, Executive Chef of the Valley Forge Casino Resort. Hey, Tony. Well, thanks a lot for having me. How are you? Amazing. Great to see you, as it's always. Good to be seen. What's yeah. on the menu today? What's on the menu? Look at this. I know, this place huh? is amazing, they isn't it? They built me a castle. Tell me about it. Huh? Tell you about it. <laughs> this is the real deal over here, huh? This it is really sweet. is. I'm telling you, I'm spoiled. We both this is amazing. Today. This is insane. I know. Well, we're going to have some fun in this fun kitchen Good. here from Nordon. Listen, we're going to do hanger steak. Yum. You like hanger Love steak? Love hanger steak. Me too. It's a great cut. It's an amazing cut. It was a cut that's uh, before, a long time ago, you know, the, um, the butcher would always take this piece home because he couldn't sell it. Mm hmm so now that we found out what the butcher's doing, we say, oh, you know, we'll sell that for it's you. It's almost <laughs> like a little mini tenderloin. Yeah, it's a, it, it, you have to be very careful with this. Mm -hmm. because, Why is that? Because the, the lines, and see, they're very tough. And that's why they call it, they also call it a tough steak. Oh, really? Yeah, because the grains go this way. Mm -hmm. So people didn't know how to cut them. Okay. So you had to cut it. Against the grain. Against the grain. Yep. And then it's, it's sick. 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 It's not really the best word for food, huh? Sick? Oh, no, it is. I uh, use it all yeah, the time. Yeah. We sit there, you know, <laughs> and sit there in a the restaurant eating there. Oh, this is sick. It's got to be a South Jersey thing. Oh, it's totally South Jersey. Definitely. Well, that's where everything starts, you know that? Oh, you know it. It's the best place in the universe. Well, I know. I love your style, girl. <laughs> love it. So this is what I did. I just salt, uh, seasoned it with a little salt and pepper. Easy. OK. And I like a lot of pepper on this. Mm-hmm. Fresh ground, always. It's. It cracks, it's on. Yep. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's how you cook. The stuff that's already ground doesn't taste like anything. Well, you know, it's not the same. Definitely. You know, it's like, you know, when you're with uh, Brad Pitt or Tony Clark. It's not the same. Right. Tony Clark has way more flavor. <laughs> way more flavor. <laughs> and, lot, and much better to kiss. <laughs> so I've heard. Okay, yeah. oh, you, oh, you heard. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is take a little bit of oil. Okay. Not too much. Right? And I'm just going to coat the uh, hanger steak mm -hmm. all around. Is that so it doesn't stick? Exactly. Now, I have a beautiful grill. Look at this. This uh, grill's awesome. You and cannot it's hot. Ha hot. Smoking hot. Feel that all the way over here. I'm, I'm warm. You're, you're, you're driving me crazy over Get here. On that side. I am. Look at it. See how we I do know. it? Look, I feel like, what's the name of that show where I'm pointing out Dancing the with the Stars? Yeah, no, something like that. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, your grill is, is this is a, the best grill. It really is. The heat's kicking. You can and see the, the flames underneath. Right. And you know, as you use a grill, if you, you're in the restaurant business, you would say, oh, this is a hot spot, or I can lower this one mm -hmm. down. And if you have a steak like that, and you want to cook it rare, you cook it right on the hot spot, OK? Because it's, it's quick, it's fast. If it's more well done, you would cook it on a slower spot. This is like okay. all grills. Mm -hmm. So, But you can create this with this type of grill here. You create your own hot spots. Exactly, or, okay. the, or low spots. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do first is I have a rag. You're gonna oil the grill? Oil the grill. Mm. You need that extra insurance extra to get insurance. things to not stick. This this place is like, I, I, I'm, I'm being spoiled You today. are being spoiled. You know. So see how I just go oh, like yeah. that? There's Look not that much. That Picks up the heat a little bit, right? And then we're going to start with putting the hanger steak on. Great. So hot, it's going to melt my mascara you hear as that? I walk away. Oh, me too. Perfect. I have simple. that same problem. I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just smoking. All right. So we're just going to let that have a little fun over there. All right. Let it do its thing. Right behind you, we've got Mark Stabo. Yeah, Mark. Hey. He's the corporate hey. chef here at Nordon. Oh, That's awesome, brother. What's up, huh? Not much. What a playground. Thank you. I hate you. Uh, You'll be back. No, you know, I, I'm yeah, not exactly. leaving. I'm not leaving. I, I got a bed upstairs. Don't tell there. them that. They won't ask us to come back. So tell us a little bit more about this place. Well, Nordon, we're a hybrid manufacturer representative and wholesale distributor. Okay. We distribute um, to our dealer community who sells to the end user, the customer, the client, the restaurant, the hospital. We do more than just provide equipment and represent equipment. Mm -hmm. We can do set in place, deliver to the curb, inside delivery. We help the end user source the best products Great. that's going to fit their solution. We help provide solutions. Um, if you want to call it free consulting. So if I was opening up a brand new restaurant, I could come to Nordon and you guys could tell me exactly what I was going to need, the bright products for me, and you would even train my staff on how to use those products. Correct. That's fantastic. Yes. 
So you're going to come back and join us at the tasting, yes? Yes, I am. Wonderful. We'll see you there. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Tony, what did I miss? Everything. Yeah, I I'm can done. see that. You're done? No. Good, let's eat. Uh, so, so I'm just going to take the hanger steak, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to check it out, see it's a nice color right there. I'm just going to move it around once. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. This kitchen is absolutely beautiful, and you have everything to cook. It was kind of like a homecoming, too. I used to do a lot of these shows with Chef, too, when I was, uh, you know, a lot younger. And the equipment is amazing. Um, it's far superior than what, what we're used to using. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for the, for the hanger steak, mm -hmm. we're going to make a sauce, um, a, a mild garlic sauce. So what I did is I started out with a little fresh garlic. In the Smells beginning. great. Just to, because of the, the flavor and the smell and everything like that. And it gives a little different color. I also poached garlic. Mm. I take whole garlic and cook it in milk. Really? Yeah, and I cook it until it's uh, fully cooked, soft, mm -hmm. in the milk. Then I strain the milk. You can use the milk for something, whatever you want to do. Don't put it in your coffee, though, probably Well, not. it depends yeah. if you like garlic coffee. Never, we'll, we'll try it someday. I know. In Italy, they have garlic coffee every morning. You know that, right? <laughs> no, not really. I'm Irish. OK, so what I do is I sweat my little garlic right here, mm -hmm. OK? And I'm going to take a little bit of uh, chicken stock here, bring that to a boil. And these induction burners are killer. Yeah, I they love get super them. hot, really oh, fast. They're smoking hot. And, you know, it's uh, something I worked with before. They're very mm -hmm. clean. Um, it's all electric. You don't yep. need a hood or anything like that for these things. This is great. Very safe. And they're very big in the restaurant business now. Are they? Yeah, because they can have them outside in the dining room. They can have them in That's different true. spots, mm -hmm. in pastry areas. That's it a good point. It doesn't need a hood. The hood's, this thing's amazing. It is. It's huge. Look yes, at it. Yes, it's huge. But this is, gives you those little spots and corners sure. where you want to be in the restaurant. Okay, so what I just do is I just took a little bit of a, the chicken stock and I'm reducing that down. Now okay. I'm taking a little bit of demi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a, a product that you make in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You would put it in a big, uh, big pot and let it cook for cook hours it all the way down. overnight. So we're just going to add the demi. And this is already a nice demi. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to reduce this down. And now I take the, the Poached garlic. Right? Looks like butter. It's, it's one of my favorite things to work with. You could use that in a lot of different you applications. Can. Throw that Absolutely. in your mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. It's insane. I think the sauce is good. Mm -hmm. So now we add the butter. And you turn the pan just like this. Give it a little taste. Um, you taste the garlic. It's really good. Yeah, but barely. Right. It's, it's not super overpowering. No, but we need more salt. Boom. Mm -hmm. okay. Like this. And here we're just going to finish this with some um, parsley. That's it? All right, this is just uh, my style. Fresh Gotta parsley. Got to throw that, that green, the Irish. Yeah, we throw the green in there pretty good, too. OK, that's awesome. Now Check I'm on that steak. It's really cooking nice. It's oh, not yeah. aggressive. Yep. That's what this grill is key about. It's got nice color. And we're just going to keep Serious it Serious color. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. We're just going to let that cook a little bit more. While we, right. And then we're, we're going to make some risotto. Dirty rice risotto. Louisiana style? Yeah, yeah. I like that. So now we have an extra version olive oil we're going to mm -hmm. start with. I take my um, little piece of garlic. Super mm. thin. Mm -hmm. No razor blade, you just do it with a knife? Not uh, like Uncle Polly and Goodfellas? I, I left my razor blades in at home. So I take a little salt. Mm -hmm. You're going to grind that up? You know all the tricks, huh? I know a few. I know. So. You just pulverize it, mm -hmm. and the salt kind of works as an abrasive. Right. Mm -hmm. nice. So we're going to make a little paste. The flavor of this garlic paste is going to be a whole lot different from different, that yeah. poached garlic. Now, risotto. When you have, in the restaurant, my restaurant, yep. if I have risotto on the menu, OK, here's the raw risotto right here. What right. kind of rice do you like to use? Arborio. Is this arborio? Yep. And um, what I do is I blanch this salted water. Mm -hmm for seven minutes. Just like you'd blanch a vegetable. Right, then I take it out, and I put it on the sheet tray, mm -hmm. and I cool it in the, the re refrigerator. So oh, I'm wow. not watch, washing the starch off. Oh, right. So this is how you cheat in the restaurant business. It's not all stuck together. There's 17,000 other ways to cheat in the restaurant business, but this is <laughs> one of them, okay? So this is how you have a prep. So when you are fired a risotto, mm -hmm. this is the risotto you start with. This is almost cooked. This is like right. really, really, really al dente. You can keep an eye on that. You want to get color on this garlic, or you no want color. it to just sweat out? 
No color, just sweat it. And you want to have the aroma coming up to your... Oh, I can smell it. Yeah, that's what you really want, mm -hmm. okay? So what else is making this dirty? What's making this dirty? Well, yeah. we have a uh, chicken liver. Pure. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can get a little dirty. <laughs> okay, so that's doing good, it's smelling good. Let me just move mm -hmm. this around, okay? Turn this down. That looks good, so... so I'm gonna put this a little slower now. Okay. See how I bring it all the way up here? Mm-hmm, it's a little cooler up front. Right, so it cooks slower and just keeps it hot, so. Great. And then I'm gonna let it, let it sit through um, the rest. Okay, now we take the risotto. We add this to our garlic. And toast it a little? Just warm it up a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. So graceful in the way you add that to the pan. Do you see oh, that? Yeah. yeah Beautiful. I, I, yeah, I've been uh, training on my grace, gracefulness as, uh, techniques, you know? It's starting to work on me. You're doing all right. I know, honey. So we take a little chicken stock, mm -hmm. take a little butter, and mix that in there. He's got some asparagus you just blanched? Blanched and peeled. It's a steakhouse classic. Yeah. I, I've always had the asparagus on my menus all the time. Always? Always. And how's the steakhouse doing? How's Valley Forge? It's amazing. Great. Uh, you know, we're busy. We just had Smokey Robinson, Casey and the Sunshine Band, you know, bands I, was, I grew up with. That's awesome. Stay tuned for more with Chef Tony Clark. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio. So, we, we check this out. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think it's about medium rare. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to take it, and we're just going to let it sit. You got to let that guy rest. Let it rest. Right? Okay, that's killer. The rice is doing well, right? Rice so is doing great. So we just want to let that chicken stock and, and the butter now together. And now you guys have Nordon doing your kitchen equipment over at Valley Forge, correct? Uh, I have Nordon with me in a, a few operations that I have going on. Excellent. And uh, it's exciting and it's the, the first class. They're the guys to bring in. They are. Now we're going to throw this in the risotto at the last minute. Now how did you prep these chicken livers? I well, um, pureed them. That's I it? cleaned them. Cooked? Raw. No, raw, okay. Raw. So this goes in last minute. Okay. Fold it in, mm -hmm. and then what we'll do is we'll cook it. But we, first we start with the risotto. Butter and the stock is becoming a, like almost a sauce here. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, see how that's working? I love risotto. Mm, me too. Okay. What's not to love? I remember the first time I made risotto. Do you? Yeah. Couldn't tell you the first time I made it. It was by, uh, uh, my chef was uh, from Singapore. Really? The this, this Singapore chef was teaching an Irish cook how to cook Italian risotto. Something about you that just doesn't sound right. Oh, it was good. <laughs> it was good. Okay, see how it's... Uh, it's thickened up a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely changing, right? So, at this point, we do it again. Right? You can keep, cook, can keep it cooking. Okay. All right? Add a little, a little more stock. stock. Don't, too, don't go too crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, add a little bit more butter. A little more stock, a little more butter. And then mix that in there just you a little bit. You got it. Bit. Okay. And you want, once the butter is incorporated in there, you want to taste a piece of the rice. Now, See if it's done. What is it, what's done? Well, you want it to be a little bit al dente, just exactly. a tiny bit. Most important thing. Mm-hmm. And you, know, and you want it you know, not too dry. Right. A little, little on the soupy side? A little, yeah. A little, little bit. bit. Go for it. When I um, did risotto with these gentlemen from Italy at the Four Seasons, they say, you know, the risotto doesn't wait for the guests. The guest waits for the risotto. And mm. they made a point. Okay. The maitre d' didn't like that point. Re yeah, I yeah. bet. <laughs> Got to turn those staples. I know. We, everybody in the kitchen liked it. Okay, yeah. get a piece of the spoon, just taste it. Mm-hmm. How close? Pretty good. Bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, now super buttery. Oh, good. Mm. I like that. Me too. All right, good. Now, seasoning's good too. Awesome. Now we're gonna have some fun. I like fun. All right, now we're gonna take this in there. Fold right. that in there. You want me to do it, or yeah, you doing it? Yeah, of course. What are you doing here? Just looking good. What I'm here happens? to help. I'm here to help you. You are doing amazing. Thanks, Tone. I'm I'm so happy to have you in my life, girlfriend. I'm always happy to Jersey, have you here. Jersey Jersey pride. Absolutely. All right, so that's nice, huh? Beautiful. And you mix it in, in there real good. Made it nice and dirty. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, now here's one more, one more trick. Now usually add uh, Parmesan cheese, but we're gonna mm -hmm. add a little cream cheese to this. Really? Yeah, just to play around. So we're gonna put some chives. I love chives. Me too. Okay, it's still, it's still cooking, it's still mm -hmm. expanding, but we're gonna This is gorgeous. It. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Then we're gonna put the asparagus. Okay, now this is the best part. Mm-hmm. We're gonna wait, but this is whipped cream. Oh, wow. And what we do, we add the whipped cream at the end. You're just gonna fold, fold it, it in? Fold it. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. It's gonna make that really nice and light. Yeah, very light. Like you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, love. Okay, now how are we doing? I got you. We you take the jus right mm. here. Okay, we're just gonna add this to the sauce. Nice. With the um, hanger steak, we yep. have the, the grains going this way. And you can see them really easily. Really? Sometimes you can't mm -hmm. see the grain on a steak too well. So we have our slicer. When we slice it, we just wanna take our time. And I like to slice this for the guest mm -hmm. because of the fact that they don't know how to do it. That's a good point. Well, that's, well, that's our job. It looks nice, too. Yeah. And it's Perfectly cook cooked. Jeez. You're so good for my ego. You should come in my house every morning when I wake up. It's I'll a come center. in. I like the way you get out of bed. I like the way you're shaving. You're looking good. That's all I need. I, I would be like uh, the big, greatest man in the world. I got you, Tone. I know. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Well, the new restaurant edition Chef's Kitchen is great. I feel like uh, I've grown up here, and I feel like, you know, I'm coming back to sort of a new and improved kitchen. I wish this was my home kitchen. Here is our plate. Okay. Like that, square plate. Love the square plate. Oh. Okay, here's the whipped cream. We take a little spoonful like this. Mm -hmm. No pull. sugar in this whipped cream, right? No, no. Just straight cream. No. Check your seasoning. See? That looks fabulous. Yeah, not bad for an Irish boy, huh? Not bad at all. Okay, and then we take our risotto. Looks gorgeous, huh? It really does. Yeah. It's too green to be dirty risotto. Yeah, it could be a little dirtier. <laughs> okay, now we'll take our Hang on steak, we're gonna bring this over here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Got nice big thick slices. I like that. Now, if I was in a restaurant, these two pieces I would either put on the bottom. Or just eat yourself. Ex <laughs> exactly, that's what happens. You know my rule. <laughs> okay, so here's here's my, I take it like this, like this. Beautifully, mm -hmm. it's an amazing piece of meat. So much flavor. This is probably the best dish I ever cooked on this TV show. I I got the ovens. I think so. I got the I got the equipment. Exactly. It's a big part of it. The ingredients, the equipment, and the man behind the oh stove. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I take a little bit of a salt. Wait, since I sliced the meat, mm -hmm. it gives me another opportunity to season the meat. Great. I'll Any kind of little, special salt? Uh, I like kosher salt. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, for everyday use. I mean, but there's great salts out there. You can always get fancy if you want. I like to get fancy. Oh, I know. You know me. Oh, I know. I'm very fancy. <laughs> huh? You're the fanciest you guy just, I know. You saw those clothes I was wearing today? Exactly. Fancy. Super fancy. I know. They've been around for a long time. Okay, so just, we'll taste our sauce. Mm -hmm. Check our seasoning again. Gorgeous. Yeah. Going here. Sauce is perfectly thick. Oh my goodness, did Isn't you just it? say that to me? Mm -hmm. Wow. A little to that there. Okay. I love sauces. Yeah, you're a sauce guy. I'm a sauce guy. Yep. Yeah. When they have those problems, they call the sauce guy. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, fried leeks. Nice. They cook very slow in oil. Mm -hmm. no, no brown color, very slow, and mm -hmm. just keep on moving them. We've done this before on the show. Yep. So we're just going to put that in the middle. A little bundle. A little bundle. Like a tumbleweed. A tumbleweed, yep. That's what I call it. Tumbleweed. Do we, you? I call that all the time. <laughs> okay. This and is that's, that's beautiful. Us. I'm ready to eat. Yeah, that's good. All right. This looks great. Mark, Tony. Wow. 
Thank you. Sure. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Mark, killer place. Great. Look, this is the best meal I ever cooked. And in I'm, real, I'm glad you Did enjoyed it. Did you notice it. that? Yeah. I look better in this uh, on this background too, huh? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, guys, but I'm just digging I, in. Right I know. Now. I know. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Top. It has lots Try of flavor. It's not top at all. No, it's not mm -mm. top. No, it shouldn't and be. And the sear on the outside is insane. Yeah, I know that, and that gives you color. Mm. That gives you color mm -hmm. when it caramelizes the sugar on the meats. It's pretty good like I'm gonna that. I'm going to try this risotto. Yeah, give that risotto a try. How's it? Mm. Think you can make a living? It's so good. Huh? It's not just good looks, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my biggest problem. <laughs> Mark, try the risotto. You have to. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely, you could get a job as a chef, I think. I want another job here. Look at this place. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> This place is fabulous. Oh my god. Isn't that great? Mm. Incredible. Mm. Okay. Well, Mark, thank you Very so much good. for having us here. And Tony, it's always a pleasure to have you on the Chef's thank Kitchen. You, Please thank come you. back and see us again You'll soon. You'll let me back? Yes. Right, cool. Marco, you the Thanks, best. Tony. Thanks, brother. This kitchen is amazing. Great, great family, amazing company. They have everything. Everything that I need is here. This is the best kitchen I cooked in on, on television since I've been doing it. Nordheim.